When you define a toy as open, I think this is multiple layer. One, one layer is that I would say open, uh, when the toy is open-ended, so the, it enables open-ended play. So it doesn't force you into a very defined kind of play activity, but it allows you to even create your own different narratives around the same, uh, same toy. So it allows you to, to expand. So the longevity of the, of the toy, you know, it's, it's much longer because it enables different activities, different play, different even, you know, uh, learning. And also I think another aspect is the fact that if the toy is built on open technologies, the, um, the, uh, the maker movement has demonstrated that they created some incredible tools based on the fact that there were a lot of technologies that were made available to them as open source. So people were able to acquire complex technology because they were packaged up as easy to use and, you know, open source and they use that as a starting point to build something else. So in the context of the toy, I'd say the toy is, is built on open technology. It's obviously interesting because it can be the starting point for exploration. You can build something else on top of the toy. When you open it, it's not a mystery anymore. It is something that you can understand in a way you can build upon and again, create your own uh, multiple ways to play. Is that good? Yeah.